Hey there, Bronco Fanatics. Keith with Rising Phoenix Bronco. Just letting you know where we're at. Uh, if you're paying attention to any of the videos or a long time subscriber, you know I'm supposed to be painting the engine bay. But, uh, you know how the Bronco is. You find one thing and then you gotta keep going. So, uh, what I was uh, concerned about was I was getting ready to start uh, taping off and all that stuff. And I realized I had spent no time on the underside of my wheel wells. Now, mind you, they're solid. They've been painted with this black goop uh, with a brush from the original owner, so 50-year-old under sealer. Uh, so, poor 15, eat your heart out. Uh, this seems to be working just fine. Now, the concern I had was is I can't get to the back of the shock tower in the spring uh, once it's all put back together. So, while I'm down here, I might as well, I've got the body mounts loose, so I figured I'd come in, clean all this stuff up underneath here, get it painted, and good to go. Uh, I've already gone in and uh, hit this with an 80 grit sandpaper to knock it all down, and you can see where I couldn't get to because of the uh, shock tower. Um, and so I'm gonna hit uh, all the bare metal with some primer, uh, and then I'm gonna hit it with paint, uh, and then I'm gonna put, I have the black sealant uh, stuff, so I'm gonna go ahead and just recoat it with the black sealant, uh, the rubberized compound. So that's kind of what we're doing today. I'll show you what it looks like once we get going. Okay, been in here, hit all of the spots where it was down to metal with the uh, primer. It says to let it dry. I hit, well, I'd also grind down the frame and the motor mount, motor mount, body mount areas. So uh, we're just letting that all dry. Three to four hours is what it says before you can top coat it uh, with the black. And then I got to come back through and top coat it with the rubberizing sealer. So this is going to be a multiple uh, day event, unfortunately. So it's the end of a long day and uh, we got a lot done. Feeling good. Uh, we got the frame painted. Ooh, it's just rattle can Rust-Oleum type stuff. Why? I'm in Arizona. I don't need to use poor 15. There was almost no rust on my frame to begin with, except for like where the battery had dripped down onto it. Uh, so we're 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 good with that. Uh, all the gray you see here on the cowl and the firewall is primer filler. I'm gonna get that as smooth as I can. I put a little arc into it. I don't know if we can see that or not in the video. Uh, I want to, there's a scene that runs right along the inside of this and the water tends to puddle up there so I've built this little arc, uh, little curve into it to get the water to stay away from uh, that seam and what was the arc I used? It's a broom handle I had over on the side of the house. I cut it to a little six inch length so I could uh, scruff it back and forth and make that arc in there. So uh, this'll this will be sanded down to metal for the most part uh, when we get ready to paint. Uh, we painted the back side of the shock tower, the back side of the spring coil retainer, and then we put the duplicolor uh, surface on the underneath side. Uh, it was all black anyways from the original owner with his uh, brushed on underlayment and uh, I wasn't gonna strip all that off and you know if you're looking at my wheel wells and then you've got issues. All right so uh, what else do we, oh we uh, when we did that we had to lift the body off the frame and I lubed up all of the bushings. There was a big debate on classic Broncos and I went with uh, Prothane uh, Super Grease. It's actually clear in color. Um, and uh, the debate was, well, you know, the urethane, they shouldn't squeak. Yeah, but there's washers in there. There's all kinds of metal in there. Uh, you, grease also makes a wonderful uh, rust inhibitor as well. So what the heck, slap a little grease on all of the places where, you know, and of course I painted where the uh, frame uh, meets the bushings and so that's good. Uh, I don't know if you can see the grease oozing out. It's nice. It's like a clear milky white kind of uh, grease. So did that to all of the bushing and then the undercoat was the Duplicolor professional undercoat uh, and it did a good job. I, I have to say I'm I'm pretty happy with how it works. I'm gonna maybe hit the seams again uh, but all in all, you know, today's the first. We actually are putting things on and doing final paint. So uh, this week I'll sand everything down, get it ready, get it all taped up. Now my brother came over and asked me why I didn't sand down the bed, and that's because we're lizard skinning. Uh, they said you only need to scuff it. So 
Uh, once I have everything painted from the seam forward, uh, while that's doing its thing, I'll come back here, uh, hit that with the old uh, uh, scuff pad and rough that all up for uh, final uh, lizard skin paint and then we'll go from there. So that's where we're at. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate